Oh, you shouldn't have. It's a sweater. And scene. Hi, everyone. I'm former child actor Matt Cappiello from that one episode of Sweet Valley High from which I got cut. That performance may have won me the head of the line at the craft services table, but my less than jolly attitude about gift exchanges is no work of fiction. The two or three people that really know me, or at least think they do, will attest to the fact that I fly into a white-hot rage when pressured into a gift exchange. And it's not just because I don't really want to shop for you, which is certainly the case, but it's all the waste that we spend on birthdays, holidays, weddings even. Hey, old drunk college friend, here's that crystal salad bowl you've been dropping hints about. So yeah, buying stuff for each other that we don't want and will never use stimulates the economy, but can't that generosity be better spent on other things, like good booze, or how about pediatric patients? It just so happens that I've got some friends who accept monetary donations to buy gifts for kids who spend their holidays tethered to hospital beds. It's called the Santa Connection, and I can give you the Matt Capiello promise that the money goes directly to shop for these kids who have a virtual how do you do with Santa clause and give the big guy their wish list, which your donation helps fulfill. The smiles from the recipients are much greater than what you'll get from your taciturn father when he receives a DVD set of murder she wrote. And not one pediatric patient is gonna say, did you save the receipt? Okay, so let's just all agree to throw baking soda on this whole gift exchange idea. Link below and in the comments. Here we go, I'll kill you. P.S. Gifts for your dog are still acceptable. Ah, good girl.